Hi, everybody. This is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week, we're going to continue our look at Profile Manager. And today, we're going to look at how do you enroll your Macs uh, that you might have into Profile Manager so that you can manage them. Uh, now that we've set up Profile Manager, that means we're able to manage our different devices using profiles. And so what we want to know now is how do we actually add our devices? So if you remember from last time, we set up the uh, Profile Manager interface, and I told you there's a, a website uh, that you can use to manage your different profiles. Uh, that's down here. I'm just going to click on that real quick and pull that up. And the actual Profile Manager uh, interface uh, allows you to manage devices as well as users. And so as you look here, I, I click on Devices. You notice I don't have any devices enrolled. Uh, there is a nice uh, little item here that helps you learn how to uh, enroll devices, which will pull up a uh, page that kind of walks you through how to do that and how to set that up. But what I want to do is actually just walk you through the process of getting uh, a device in here. And specifically in this case, we're going to look at how to enroll a Mac so that we can get a, an actual uh, Mac in here. So let me just uh, pop this down. Now, one of the other things that I talked about is that your profiles are available uh, to be enrolled in uh, for management using the user portal and uh, the user portal is basically your server name with the backslash of devices so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, go over to a Mac that I uh, have a screen share on and we'll walk through the process of going ahead and installing uh, your profile so that you can enroll that Mac into profile manager so what I'm gonna do is let me just pull up the screen share here uh, so here I am on a screen share and you can see that I've got the uh, My Devices uh, portal set up right here so that we can begin to enroll this Mac. Now, one of the things you'd think right away is I just come in here and uh, click on the Enroll button. Uh, but you don't want to do that first because you've got to be able to trust uh, your Mac uh, with this device. If, if you remember when we talked about the SSL certificates and things that we had set up, uh, I talked to you before about how uh, with a self-signed profile, uh, that uh, you need to make sure that you trust that first, that it's going to kind of ask you that. And so what we're going to do is just let's click on the Profiles tab here. And you notice I've got two profiles here. I've got the Settings for Everyone, and then I've got a Trust Profile for myself. Now, this is the profile that I'm going to want to install so that anything I do after that, the my Mac knows that it's okay to trust my server. Uh, otherwise, it won't know whether it can trust it or not, and it'll actually block those profiles uh, from coming through, which means that your Mac then won't be enrolled in Profile Manager. Uh, so let me just show you. If I just uh, click on Show Contents, you can see here that uh, it shows me uh, what's in the settings for everyone. And so if you remember, uh, when I showed you in Profile Manager, these are all the various services uh, that would automatically be set up because I've got those set up and ready to go. And so my settings for everyone includes these profiles, and we'll show you what that looks like. And then down here, we've got the Trust Profile, which basically just shows the certificate. And that's the SSL certificate that I set up on the server. So for us to get started, what we need to do is just install the Trust Profile. That's the first thing we're going to do. You can see it's downloaded it, and it automatically opens up uh, to uh, system preferences. And so it says that this device is going to configure your Mac with two certificates. Do you want to do it or not? Uh, I can actually show uh, the profile if I want to do that. And so it shows a little bit about the profile that I'm going to install in case I wanted to just kind of get an idea of what it's going to do for me there. Uh, but I just basically click install. And so it's going to ask me to authenticate, which I need to do. And then I just click OK. And so now it's installed this trust profile. And so I've got it right here. Uh, I've got this uh, um, trust profile that says, OK, now it's OK to accept the various uh, profiles and things that you're going to install. And so that gets me, uh, gets me started. OK, now I'm still not enrolled in Profile Manager itself yet. Uh, this is just a, a certificate that tells me it's OK to trust. And if I just go to Show All here in Profile Manager, you'll notice that I now have this new Profiles area here. Uh, I didn't have that before. Now I have that in here. And if I ever want to see these profiles, I can just click on this. I can always uh, remove them or add other profiles uh, if I want to. But that just kind of shows you where those are at. So I'm going to um, just put this down here. And let's come back into, into here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to enroll uh, my Mac. And so I'll, I'll install this later. But let's just go ahead and enroll uh, my Mac to be managed uh, by Profile Manager. So I just click on Enroll right here. And now it's downloaded a profile. And it says, OK, it's going to put in two certificates, one for mobile device management, MDM, which is what I want. That's what Profile Manager does. And then it's got the uh, SCEP enrollment request as well. 
And again, if I wanted to show the profile, I can show what this is, what it's going to allow me to do, and what it's trying to download. Uh, but I'm just going to click continue here. Okay, and now it's asking me if I'm sure uh, I want to do this. So I'm going to say yes. I'm going to install it. Okay, and so now all of the uh, profiles are installed. You can see I've got uh, the settings, four settings right there uh, with the various uh, certificates that are installed. And so everything should be good to go. So now when I go back to the uh, My Devices portal, I should, uh, should see my computer up there. So let me just uh, click on this here. And sure enough, there is my Mac. It's already showing up. It's got my serial number on there. And the nice thing that I can do right from this website is I can actually lock my computer if I want to. So if I've lost it or it's been stolen, I can actually come in here and lock it. Uh, I can also, also wipe it if I want to. So if, uh, if I've got data on it that I don't want to get out or I, I figure it's gone for good, I can actually wipe my computer and the next time it opens up, it'll actually wipe all the data. And so that allows your users uh, of these different devices to have uh, some security features built in that they can use that are based on the prof on profile manager. So it does make it uh, pretty nice. And it's also a quick way to look up your serial number as well. If for some reason you're away from your computer and you want to look that information up, you could do that from here as well. Uh, I can also log out from here or I can actually remove uh, my device from profile manager if I want to. And uh, that'll take it right out of there, remove the profiles and put everything back to where it was. So now if I just click on profiles again, you'll see up here, um, I can also uh, install the settings uh, for everyone if I wanted to uh, coming in here and this will actually configure my Mac uh, with all of these settings uh, that I want uh, so let me just let's just take a look at that I'm gonna click install on that and it's downloaded that profile it says you want to sure you want to install all these services I'm just gonna say continue and go through the process here so now it asks for a uh, password and so this is the um, you know the common settings for everyone I need a, a password to enter in here and then an email address uh, to set that up. So let me just put that information in there right now. Okay, once I put that in there, I just click continue. And it asks me again to authenticate before it's going to do its thing. So I'm going to have to put in my password here for this machine. And then it's going to start installing that. And so it'll go through the process here of installing the settings for everyone. And you can see I've got all my information there. All of my uh, settings are set up. So I've got all of these various settings that I had on my server already ready to go uh, on my computer here. And so if I just go show all uh, for a minute uh, and come out of the profiles here, like if we go into network, for instance, uh, you can see that now I've got a VPN set up here that I didn't have before. And so uh, my home VPN right here is all set up and ready to go. Uh, now, I didn't put any of that information in there at all. Uh, it actually put everything in there for me. Uh, so with the profile, the nice thing is, is you can have a Mac set up with all of the different settings and things that you want just by having people install these profiles. And uh, it really is. It's a, it's a really uh, easy way to do it and uh, just a quick way, quick way to make that happen. So let me just uh, go back to show all here. Uh, so anyway, so that shows you how uh, to enroll it uh, into a Mac. So that'll hopefully help you get started with Profile Manager. Now what I'm going to do is let's go back into uh, my server itself and let's look at the web page and see if that device shows up in our Profile Manager website. Okay, here we are back on my Profile Manager website. And as you can see, where we didn't have any devices before, now we actually have uh, my laptop showing right in here. So that now I have all of my information about my laptop here that I can manage. And what I'm going to do is, in a future screencast, I'm going to talk to you about how to use this Profile Manager interface uh, to manage your users and devices. Uh, but I just wanted to show you how that connects and how that uh, all lines up so you can see that it does add these things uh, pretty seamlessly and does it in a, in a pretty uh, easy fashion. So let me just pop this down. So that's all I have uh, for this week on uh, Profile Manager and how to enroll your Macs. Uh, we'll continue to take a look at uh, Profile Manager and walk through all of the details of it so that you have a good understanding of it. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.